April 26th, the supreme climb. Take now thy son, and offer him there for a burnt offering, upon one of the mountains which I will tell thee of. Genesis 22, 2. Character determines how a man interprets God's will. Psalm 18, 25 through 26, for reference. Abraham interpreted God's will to mean that he had to kill his son, and he could only leave this tradition behind by the pain of a tremendous ordeal. God could purify his faith in no other way. If we obey what God says according to our sincere belief, God will break us from those traditions that misrepresent him. There are many such beliefs to be rid of. That God removes a child because the mother loves him too much? A devil's lie, and a travesty of the true nature of God. If the devil can hinder us from taking the supreme climb and getting rid of wrong traditions about God, he will do so. But if we keep true to God, God will take us through an ordeal which will bring us out to a better knowledge of himself. The great point of Abraham's faith in God was that he was prepared to do anything for God. He was there to obey God no matter to what belief he went contrary. Abraham was not a devotee of his convictions, or he would have slain Isaac and said that the voice of the angel was the voice of the devil. That is the attitude of a fanatic. If you will remain true to God... God will lead you straight through every barrier into the inner chamber of the knowledge of himself. And there is always this point of giving up convictions and traditional beliefs. Don't ask God to test you. Never declare, as Peter did, I will do anything, I will go to death with thee. Abraham did not make any such declaration. He remained true to God, and God purified his faith.